What I did, I went ahead and got rid of the stock pan because it leaked and it was warped. And if you can see it, bought me a new aluminum pan. It's a deeper pan. It came with the gasket and filter. It was like 159 bucks, I believe. And the box is over here. Maybe the info is on it. But what I'm doing, I'm changing the fluid and filter, and I got the better pan. And I'm wanting to flush out the converter. Now, this is something I've never done. Yes, it's a B&M pan. Deep transmission pan for a Ford C6. But, um... Normally, when I really want to get one flushed out clean, I'll pull it out and flush the converter out and everything. But I was looking around on online because you know if you uh, drain the transmission fluid from just the pan, you're only changing about half of it. Now, if it's a stock one it'll, with a huge 14-inch converter, which this one does not have, there's a lot of fluid in that converter. This has got a 10-inch converter in it. It's like a 2200 stall, but a uh, they say if you unhook the transmission transmission lines after you fill it up and start it up, uh, a couple guys I seen had to put it in neutral. But it will push the dirty fluid out. And uh, uh, other people recommend that you uh, change it two or three times if you if you don't want to flush it. But I'm going to try flush it. I got a new cooler. It's not hooked up to the transmission yet. So you can see I got these two lines right here. Hopefully they'll say there's a lot of pressure. But maybe it's got to build up. Hopefully these things don't go flying around and squirt and everything. As a matter of fact, I'm going to get some good T-Rex tape and tape them to the side of the bucket. Hopefully it won't splash everywhere. But I'm going to have to fill it up. Probably going to take, I don't know, five or six quarts for that pan. So we're going to do that first. Okay, I'm going to add... I'm going to put four quarts in. I know it's going to hold at least that. You might start off with three and then check it because it will pour out of the overflow with that. If I um, overfill it, let me just see if that makes a difference on a dip dipstick tube. It was like three quarts. Okay, it took almost seven quarts to get it to the full mark, which is going to suck it right out of there. I would say, well, maybe not because the converter wasn't full. This is a deeper pan, so stock, I think it only took about four. So I'm going to start this thing up, make sure it's in park, make sure my battery's on. Yes, it is. I watched, they had to put it in neutral before it would actually. There we go, there's some dirty stuff coming out. Oh, yeah, look at that nasty black stuff. That's how bad it was. You're going to be telling me, man, your transmission shot, but believe it or not, it was working before this. Now, one risk I am taking um, sometimes when your fluid's that bad, uh, you can start having trouble after you change the fluid without a rebuild. But we're going to take that chance if it don't. If, it, if I can't go to the car show next weekend, I can't go. That's all there is to it. But there's just I just don't really want to pull the transmission out and rebuild it with the race car apart right now. 
but it's slowly pumping it out. You have to put it in neutral and see, but honestly, I'd rather it slowly pump it out in part. You're supposed to be able to start seeing clean fluid come out after a while. Let's see. See, it's pretty nasty. There we go, it's starting to come out harder now. I wonder what it looks like on the dipstick tube right now. Fill it back up. No leaks. Okay, three quarts later, and we're a little bit over full. So we're going to start it up again. And see how much comes out of there. Yeah. 